Harry. I'm Walter. It's wonderful to be here. We guarantee I'll put a smile on every face we see here. I'm Walter. I'm Harry. The billing doesn't matter. A team. A set. A pair. If I'm the former, I'm the latter. We, we sing, we dance, we're baggy pants. A million disguises. Light of foot, slide of hand. Full of surprises. Are they cold today? I'm Harry. You're Walter. And now it's time to say, Maestro, take it away. Hey, give me your bag. Come on. Stop it. There's a chicken on my back. There's a chicken on my back. Got the right river, but the wrong boat. The right mountain, but the wrong goat. You've got the right kind of paddle, but the wrong canoe. The right ocarina, but the wrong kazoo. You've got the right alley, but the wrong cat. The right belfry, but the wrong bat. The right welcome, but the wrong mat. But, buddy, it helps to recall Nobody's perfect Nobody at all told you about reading that rubbish. I wasn't reading it, Mr. Worth. I was just looking at your picture. It's nice, isn't it? Yes, isn't it? Mr. Worth. Ah, good morning, George. Has my guest arrived? He's at your table, Mr. Worth. You're looking a little peaked this morning, George. You feeling all right? Champion, Mr. Worth? Just champion. Ah, Mr. Crisp, how nice to see you. George, do you think you might bring us some of Henri's blueberry muffins? I didn't come here to dine. Is it the door? It is, isn't it? It's the damage we did to the door of your bank. I take full responsibility. I insist that you send the bill for repair to my attorney. I'm touched by your generosity, Mr. Worth. Deeply touched. But Mr. Mosler of the Mosler Safe Company has seen to it that our bank is now invulnerable. Oh. Let's get on with it. As you wish. You have my securities? I propose the standard arrangement that we enjoy. That we enjoy with every bank president here in New York. Naturally, we keep the cash. We return the securities to you for 15 cents on the dollar. The one question that remains is, 
how much of a fee you yourself require. Are you suggesting I bamboozle my own board of directors? Bamboozle? What a quaint phrase. I realize, of course, that you've incurred certain expenses traveling here to retrieve your securities. But then I had to go all the way to Massachusetts to rob your bank. And you're going back. But this time, you're going to jail. I beg your pardon. Arrest him. He's got the security. I can work. You're under arrest for the robbery of the Commercial Bank and Trust Company in Lowell, Massachusetts. <laughs> Sergeant O'Reilly, is that revolver loaded? Oh, it is, sir. Well, put it away before you hurt yourself. But I can't. He can't, Adam, because I'm here. Billy Gallagher. Detective extraordinary. In the flesh. But, Billy, this is New York. And this is a Boston bench warrant for your arrest. I'm afraid you underestimated Mr. Chris Bottom. He called me in my company because he knows that you own every cop in New York. All right, I'll be I can't tell you how sorry I am. Don't feel badly, O'Reilly. Contact my attorney and have him cancel my steamer ticket. Please don't cry, Marie. I'm sorry, Mr. Worth. There was nothing I could do. Here, George, cheer up. And for the love of God, get yourself a new orchestra. Mr. Crisp, whatever has become of gentlemanly manners? Gentlemanly manners? You are a thief, Mr. Worth. Perhaps this will teach you not to fool with Rufus T. Crisp. It will teach me to be a little less lenient with you next time, sir. There won't be a next time for you, Mr. Worth. You'll be behind bars. <laughs> we shall meet again, Mr. Crisp. You can bank on it. What now, O oh fantastic woman of the East? What is it that I hold in my hand? No, I see. I see a small round object. A locket. A beautiful locket. A locket. Ladies and gentlemen, a locket and a beautiful one. Here you are, my sweet. How old are you? Only through in a half hour. Lovely child. Bless you. Now, who else? Who else would care to challenge the mystical gifts of the great Madame Rabina? Right here, Mr. I don't care. It matters not to the madam. Anyone at all. Oh, Oh, very well. Oh, great woman of the East. What is it now that I hold in my hand? Oh, spirits, come down. What's them, officers? Please, 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 the madam needs complete silence. Sha, sha. Hold on a minute. I walked in here with $30 and I walked out with 20 These children stole $10 out of my wallet. Officers, if you don't mind, would you please, please keep this man quiet? He's disturbing the spirits. Hey, wait a minute. Some of my money's missing. Excuse me. Uh, I can clear this confusion here. immediately. Where were you sitting, sir? Right here. Right here. I'm sure that if you look under your seat, you will find exactly what it is that you're missing. Please, if everyone, if everyone would look directly under their seats, I'm sure we can clear up this confusion. Way under. And run, Walter! And help me find the missing money. I'm Harry, you promised. Harry, you promised. My part of the sheik. We'll have you trampled by camels! I never saw that man before in my life! Oh, get him He's out! He's not a prince! You're stepping on my dress, officer! I think we're gonna get through early tonight.
Harry, I just want you to know how much I appreciate everything you've done for me. That's all right. It's not all right, Harry. Shut up, both of you. Come on, that means move. Here it That's Adam Worth. Who? Good morning. Adam Thank Worth. Thank you for coming along to see me. Hello, Len. Let me give you an autograph here. There we are. What a pretty hat you have there. Hello, sunshine. Yeah, Good morning, good. darling. I'm overwhelmed by the reception. Would you like a picture, sir? Yes, sir. Just stand back. Put the flag down. That's all right. There we are. Let's Thank you for coming. Step back and be quiet. Come on. 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 How courteous of you to welcome me personally. As soon as I'm settled in, we'll have a chat. But if you'll excuse me for a moment, please. Goodbye, ladies. I'll see you all again. The moment that visiting privileges... Back. Give her some air. Can be arranged. Come on, folks, move back. See, the trouble with you and me, Walter, is that we're thinking too small. The only trouble with you and me, Harry, happens to be you. Goodbye, Larry. Oh. Goodbye. Sir. All right, you two loud mouths. Out of line. Oh, no, we weren't thinking. Move it! Out of line! My advice is just not to mix with the general population. Come back this way, please. Get back! Hey! Get back. You almost got us that time. We've got to be very careful on this walk. No kindness can you extend at all. An inch, and they take a foot. Nickel and diamonds, like I told you before. Just step this way, and everything will be OK. Good morning. Walter, today could be the luckiest day in our lives. Believe me. How do you do it, Adam? It must be extremely difficult for you here. Difficult. It's an absolute nightmare. My silver lobster forks have gone. The mildew on the walls is destroying my draperies. And I haven't once bathed in truly hot water since I arrived here. Would you like a cigar, sir? Oh, Try the uh, quail eggs, Jack. And something has got to be done about the noise from that damned nitro detail in the rock quarry. More brandy, Warden. Thank you, no, sir. I have pressing duties at the gate. The eats was magnificent. I particularly was taken with those little chickens. <laughs> Mr. Chedsworth, it was nice to meet you, sir. Yes, likewise. Excuse me, sir. Would you care for us to uh, clear the dishes now? Later, Harold. Right now, Mr. Chatsworth and I would appreciate a bit of privacy. Come back uh, in an hour. Did you try the uh, quail eggs, Jack? Uh, excuse me, sir. Could that be in the ice house with the wine, sir? Would what be in the ice house with the wine? The privacy, sir. Goodbye, Harold. Right. Uh, I thought they'd make a nice change from the gulls in. You know, they're so large. Just, just try them. Oh, this is for later, Mr. Worth. Goodbye, Walter. <laughs> Adam, where'd you find those two oafs? Well, they're not oafs, Jack. They would require practice to become oafs. You bring the plans. Right here. You know, I stood right there with Spangler while he drew them from memory. Twelve hours after he burned the original. 
<laughs> Imagine, Mosler's own designer selling us the blueprints, the crisp, invulnerable bank. <laughs> Marvelous. Exquisite. Come over here, Jack. And all from memory. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Take the other side of the picture, Jack. You did give him the $20,000, didn't you? With my own hands. By now, he's probably halfway to Tahiti. The man's an artist. A true artist. They are beautiful. There's no denying. But, you know, Adam, $20,000 is a lot of money to be investing in revenge. Revenge, Jack. You don't really think that I would stoop to anything as petty as revenge, do you? That guy just stole my hair. Careful with the hair, Harry. I found a lock of it in my soup last night. Keep your soup away from my hair. Hey, what do you think of that new ad? Special. A lock of hair from the head of Adam Worth, the Emperor of Thieves. Souvenir buttons from his shirts, da da da, all for 25 cents. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We ought to be ashamed, Harry. Ashamed. Never mind. I got a business to run. Um, Walter, my uh, my eyes are very tired. Uh, could uh, could you read this to me, please? Dear Mr. Worth, I want to be just like you when I grow up, so I broke into my big brother's piggy bank and stole 25 cents to send to you for your picture. Sincerely, Fred Dooley, age 12, writ by hand. Oh, that's beautiful. It's criminal, Harry. One genuine autograph picture coming up for little Fred Dooley. Give him a good button, Harry. Is that nice? Difficult, maybe impossible, but the challenge, Mr. Crisp, is irresistible. Hey, Walter, what do you think, huh? Harry, will you take that off? He's gonna kill us, Harry. Oh, stop it, Mr. 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 So yeah. Harry, will you just stop it? Harold, Walter, come in here. Mr. Worth? Your service, sir. Would you call this glass clean? Well, I'm sorry, sir. Um, we'll have it shined right up. Yes, sir. Why don't you shine it on your jacket? Oh, oh, he was just trying this on for size, sir. It's a beautiful garment. Yes, sir. I noticed that uh, last week, last week when you had it on, sir, uh, it was a little snug, and I thought if I just move the buttons just a little bit to the. Uh, Speaking to the of right, buttons, sir. what's happened to all the buttons on my shirts? Buttons, uh, sir. Oh, it, it must be the laundry, sir. There, they've been. Uh, it's very the sloppy with the. Lord uh, knows, I, I spoke to them, sir. I, I'm sure that then they're not uh, ha uh, used to handling fancy shirts like that, sir. I'll speak to them. I'll speak to them right away, and you uh, take care of that. Yes, I'm sir. sorry for them, sir. Polish this right up. Sir. You're a bit of a jack of all trades, aren't you, Harold? Butler, waiter, tailor. Yeah, um, singer, dancer, comedian. You're not going to start all that singing and dancing again, are you? 
Sir, if you just give us one chance. Now, I'm going to get all this silverware and, and just really one polish chance. it up. No. Sir. This, this man is so good. He, um, he can do anything that um, Eddie Foy or Tony Pastor can do and better, sir. If you just, just give us that one chance. I'm going to dust in the bedroom, sir. He's, he's shy, very shy, and all great, great artists are very, very shy, sir. Not all, Harold. Thank you very much, sir. God, can that man pick him? Mr. Chestnut, I presume? You presume correctly, and you? My name is Durgham. I'm the warden. Captain O'Meara. Hello, Captain O'Meara. Oh. You're here to see Adam Worth? Yes, yes, I have an appointment. Who's he? Oh, he takes pictures. Jesus. You're planning to spend the evening. Oh. <laughs> um, Mr. Durgham. I am a newspaper woman. I came here to interview Adam Worth, not to entertain him. You! you. Got! Da! Big ending now. enough, boys. The audition is over. Well, sir, there's just a little bit more. No, there isn't, Harold. Right. Please come in. Mr. Worth, may I present Miss Chestnut from... The Advocate. The Advocate. Miss Chestnut, thank, thank you for your charming letter. Mm. I have been looking forward to your visit. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Worth. My... My, 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 my. I see that uh, you have your own private cell, um, your own personal belongings, and uh, even your own entertainment. A meager effort to rehabilitate these poor young men, I'm afraid, but thank you for noticing. <sighs> um, yes, and this is my assistant, Mr. Lewis Hopkins. I was, uh, I was just wondering if he might take um, a few photographs while we talk. Of course. You may leave now, Mr. Durgham. Yes, sir. If there's anything else you need, let me know. Certainly. My goodness, Mr. Worth, even your own warden. A lonely man in an underpaid job, Miss Chestnut. Let us not judge him too harshly. Hold it! My next question is, uh, why should, if you don't mind my saying, a handsome, uh, a cultivated millionaire continue to steal for no apparent purpose. No purpose? Do you know what it's like to break into a bank at 2 o'clock in the morning? No. Every pore in your body tingles with the possibility of failure, the danger of being caught. That's the danger. Right. Hold it! Would you kindly open the champagne, please? And uh, three very nice clean glasses, sir. Excellent. Carve the lemon and the onion, Harold. Right. My readers will be pleased to know that you are still in possession of so much of your hair. Oh? Do they think I've lost it? Well, surely they are concerned, considering the recent sale of so many of your locks of hair as a result of the advertisement. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, you sir! Stupid out! I'm sorry. How would I have you Mr. flush? Worth, oh, flog him, sir! No, don't flush! Control yourself! No, no, I'll, get, I'll get a towel, sir. You'll no, take, no, take your shirt off and clean it up right no, now! Take, take your shirt off! No, I'm so no, sorry, no, sir. Take your shirt off! Man, he will do no such thing. Now, how dare you talk to that man as if he were your slave? Miss Chestnut, I'd appreciate it if you allow me to control my servants as I see fit! No, just get on. Young man, young man, what is your name? What is your name, young man? Walter! Walter, yes. Walter. Walter Hill. Walter Hill. Yes, and uh, Walter I'm, I'm Hill. Harry. I'm Harry Digby. You're Harry his Digby. Partner. 
Hill and Digby. Well, Lord, Digby and Hill. The building really doesn't yeah. matter. Mr. Hill. Walter. Walter, Walter, when you... Wait a second here. Here is a copy of our newspaper. Now, when you and your friend are released from this penitentiary, I want you to come to New York City because we at The Advocate will help you to find a new direction to your lives. Now, Mr. Worth, if you would care to show me the remainder of your highly erotic... your highly exotic lodgings, I would be deeply appreciative as I have a train to catch. Well, well... Calmly. Well? Calmly, Miss Chester. Yes. Calmly, calmly. This way, please. This way. Clean it up. You stupid. You are stupid. This, as you can see, is the... Oh. 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 No. What? What? Get the camera. What do you want? Get the camera. camera. Oh, Harry. No, Harry, what? Bring it over here. Why? Hurry up. Set it up, set it up. What do you want? I'm going to take a picture. What are you going to take a picture of, Harry? Are you crazy? I'm crazy. You'll kill us. Hey, we don't hurry. Now load this flash. They put a lot of that stuff in there. I want a clear picture. How are you going to get me? Why do you picture? always argue with me when I try to be smart? He's going to flog me. Put a lot of it in there. <laughs> hey, what is this thing? That's to measure with. Come on, Harry. Wait, wait. Hurry up. Okay, perfect. Give me this. It's so lovely. Let's not. Listen, it's a chance of a lifetime. Now you shoot when I tell you. One, two, three. Shoot. Oh, oh my it's God, it's on fire. fire. It, come get the champagne bottle. Open it up and aim it. Come on, hurry up. Harry, get the champagne. Oh. Now what are they up to? Spray that champagne. I can't get it open, Harry. Get it over here. Oh, you're so... oh, my God, are we in trouble? Just put it out. That's it. More champagne. Are we in trouble? Oh. oh, my God. He took a pic. He took a picture. He don't know how to take a picture. Oh. Oh. You see, sir, he was he was taking a picture of me, and he came too close. He can't take a very good picture, sir. Get away from there. Uh. Look. Get out of here. Where did I go? Get out of here, you. Not you two. You two, get out. What happened? Get out. Get out. Get out. I will not be responsible for my actions. If you don't get out of here, one, Mr. Durkham, get in here. Something wrong, Mr. Worth? I need a favor, Mr. Durkham. I want these two clods assigned to the natural detail as soon as possible. You mean permanently, sir? No, Mr. Durkham. Not permanently. Just until they die. Go! Come on, Harry! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on, Harry! <laughs> Cover! <laughs> hey! Hey, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Over there. Hey, will you hold the fire, please? There's a man hanging in the air here. Take it up. Get it. That's good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, keep it up. Keep it up, Stop Harry. Stop this. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh. Come on, oh. Harry. Oh. Oh. We got more. We got more. Let me show you. Come on, come on. Back to work. Back to work. <laughs> Dangerous work, huh? <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Go ahead, Harry. Take a look. Take a look. <laughs> Frozen nitro. All right, Harry. Here's what you do, see? You take this and you grab that frozen lump. You put it right down there, and you cut a great big chunk off like that. And you take that chunk, see? And you put it in this, and then you put that on the stove so it melts. And then you grab this. I'll show you to watch. Watch this. You got it in there, and you go. <laughs> you just pour that right in there real easy. It's easy. And you just take that. And there it is. OK? Good luck, Harry. You're going to need it. <laughs> Thank you.
Let's see how good you do tomorrow. <laughs> Harry, what happened? I heard the explosion. Watch it. They heard you, Harry. No, we're getting out of here. I got nitro. Harry, you're insane. Yeah. I wasn't sure before, but now I'm positive. Help! Shh. Oh, Ow! You bit me. Yeah, and that's not all I'm going to do, Harry. Just leave me alone, Harry. Don't you realize that after they kill me in that nitro shot tomorrow, it's your turn? Maybe not, Harry. I wrote a letter of apology to Adam Worth. Huh. You think that's going to change his mind? Well, it's worth trying, isn't it? No. Look, did we? What? Did we not get a picture of those plants? Yes, we did. Burnt to a crisp. Well, maybe not. I've been thinking about that. Uh oh. Look, you work in that photography shop. Now, that, uh, that, uh, thing of a jig on the camera. Yeah, that works pretty quick, doesn't it? Huh? Well, maybe we got the picture before it was burnt. And if we did, if we did, and that picture is in the camera, and we can get a hold of the camera, then we can be sitting in New York. Sitting in New York, eating, uh, sweet caviar. Drinking champagne out of gomlets. Gomlets. God, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Harry, you are insane! You don't know the first thing about safe cracking, Harry. What's to that? There's nothing to it. We can learn it in a minute. <gasps> Look, what is the difference between us and Adam Worth? A few breaks. Those plans are worth a million bucks. Oh, great. We can buy a couple of expensive suits to get buried in. This is it, Walter. It's the big time. Oh, no, Harry. The big time is Broadway for me. I'm not a thief. We're going to get blown to pieces. We'll discuss your career some other time. Okay, okay, okay. So we get out of here, then what do we do? We don't know anybody. We don't have clothes. We don't even have train fare. Yeah, we know Lisa Chestnut. That's true. Yeah. So, you let me worry about the clothes. You let me worry about the train fare. Huh? What do you say, Walter? I'll think about it. Oh, come on, please, Walter. Please, Walter. Please. God! A man is dying himself on three sick! God, please, he's dying! You okay? Please, hurry, God! Harry, you're a mouse! You're right. right. A man uh, suddenly, uh, suddenly ill. Suddenly ill. I don't know. I'll... Harry! Oh. What's the matter with you? I can't breathe. <laughs> I only said maybe, Harry. Maybe's good enough for me. Come on. Hold it. Hold it right there. This is my problem. Hey, this, this is my problem. Now, let's get out of here, Harry. Oh, my God. Stop it. Stop it. They got some nitro. Nitro! <laughs> Careful, Harry. Don't fall with the nitro, Harry. <laughs> Get off! Get off! Put Come on, I dare you, man! Harry, don't dare him, Harry! I dare 
everyone. I dare you. Don't! Harry, Harry, Harry! Come on! Harry, don't! Harry, listen, we'll we'll go back and talk. Relax, please. Go put me on a nitro detail, will you? Huh? Harry, don't don't threaten me. I'm too smart. I'm too smart. Harry, no, no, I'm too smart. You're too smart. Harry, watch it. No, don't. Don't, don't, Harry, don't. Oh, sweet Jesus! Well, come on. Dogs, just follow me. Come here. What do we do? Come here. We throw them off our track. Run around the tree. Come Rub your body on the tree. Get them dizzy. Okay, come on. Come on. Trust me, Walt. Come on. Harry, I'm hungry, Harry. We'll eat later. <laughs> come on. Don't get this gear, Harry. Harry. Come on. Harry, they're gonna catch us. What are they? Please. We got snakes in the forest, Harry. Walter. I'm scared. Right, okay, this way, Walter. Harry. Harry! Walter! Walter! Harry! Walter! Harry! Walter! Harry! Harry, I'm lost! Shh, don't panic! Harry! Don't panic! Harry, oh, Harry. Oh, Harry. I, got, I got lost. Harry. Okay. Harry, I got lost in the corner. Okay! Uh, shh, shh. Now, listen, let me explain something to you. If I'm in the front, that means you ah! <laughs> Oh, Harry, I never like corn, Harry. Let's get out of here, Harry. You're supposed to be behind me. You stay behind Don't me. Don't holler at me, Harry. If I'm leading, that means you follow. If you follow, I... Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> I a bicycle. We can use a bicycle. Be careful. Now, timing is everything. We're dangerous! We escape! We're convicts! Run for your life! Run! Okay, let's go. Harry, my legs are getting tired. Don't worry. When we get to Connecticut, it's mostly downhill. Atta boy. Thank you, man. Atta boy. Atta boy. Come on. Yeah. Some newspaper. You got the magnifying glass? I think it's by the bed. Lemon or milk? Well, uh, both if you have it. Oh. I'm going to take these off because they uh, they pinch my muscles. Um, I. I'm so surprised that I'm really stunned to see you here. Uh, how did you... Well, I mean, you can imagine our surprise when uh, an hour after you left, uh, our parole came through bang like that. More like boom. <laughs> well, boom, bang, what difference does it make? <laughs> we came as soon as we could, and so how can we best help you? Oh, oh that's very thoughtful of you both. It's just that I'm afraid that we can't pay you anything, nothing at all. We don't, we don't care about money. Oh, I mean, money, money, money. I mean, we came because uh, we 
just wanted to put a new uh, life in our direction, like you said. A, a new direction in our life. That's what I said, Walter. It's wonderful. I, it's inspiring. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. Yes, it is. Here, oh, I want you to take a look at this, and I want you to tell me what you think. Be honest. You think it'll sell? Adam Worth Penitentiary <laughs> Prince. Adam Worth Penitentiary yeah. Oh, boy, is he going to be mad. Huh? You have pictures of us in here. Hey, you, look at that, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is, this is good publicity, Walter. You think so? so? Yeah. Excuse me. Lewis? You're terrific. Oh, thanks. Well, wonderful. Thanks. Sharp and clear. Yeah. Where do you uh, develop these? I got my own document. Here? Yeah, right here. You're kidding. No, no, I'll show you. Come on. Come here. Oh, it's a boy. Yeah. You do wonderful, wonderful Thank you. work. I mean, Thank it's you. incredible. It's a, a characteristic. Well, a, a character study. It's wonderful. Oh, uh, this, uh Lewis, what's uh, what's this pile here? Oh, those are the rejects. Uh huh. Well, you know, your friend uh, Walter took the took the worst one of them all. He did. Which yeah. one was that? Which one? The one that almost burned down the cell. <laughs> Oh, I don't mean to be personal, but you're not related to him, are you? Huh? Oh, this is the worst picture I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Look at this. It's just a bunch of crazy diagrams. The, the composition's terrible. Look, the, the, the leg is cut off, the arm is cut off, your whole body's cut off. in the world are sitting there and, and they're uh, lighting cigars with C notes. That's the way they talk. C notes, that's a hundred. Oh my God. What's that? Oh my God. Who do, who do you see? Oh my God. Harry, what, what, what's the matter? Who do you see, Harry? That's that's piano Charlie Bullard. Who? Charlie Bullard, the, the diamond job in Paris. Paris, that's Paris, France. It's, it's near Europe and Asia. So? The, so, the Charlie Diamond Bullet job in Paris, France. Where are we going? Oh, sorry, man. Excuse me. Uh, I'd like uh, a nice table by the, the window for two, please. I'm afraid it's out of the question, sir. We're fully booked. It's, it's all right. We'll, we'll wait. I'm afraid it would be at least two hours. Probably three. Oh, well, I'll uh, see you all three and uh, raise you two. Sir, this is Shang Draper's. I'm not looking for directions, buddy. I just want a table. One moment, sir. And a nice one, too, right like there. Harry, there by the window. Harry, listen, that Jack Chatsworth sitting over there. Jack, where? Over there in the middle. Put down. Point. Harry, if I don't point, how am I going to show you where he's sitting? Describe. You use the May English I, language, uh, like me. I help you, uh, gentlemen? No, no, thanks. Um, Jack! Jack Chatsworth! How you, how you doing, buddy? 
Friends of Mr. Chatsworth. Oh, yeah. I thought you'd never ask. <clears throat> right this way, gentlemen. Something from the bar, gentlemen. Would you like to look at the wine list? Yes, yes. Here it is. Uh, some beer. Beer. Um. Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, 79. An excellent selection, I said. Measurably. Oh, um, excuse me. Would you send a bottle of the same to Mr. Chatsworth's table with uh, my compliments? Yes, sir. And um, two large salads. Very good, sir. Harry, this must be a very expensive restaurant. After we bust that bank, we're going to be eating lunch here for the rest of our lives. You're crazy, Harry. You've been saying that a long time, but... Uh... Here we are. Class, you gotta air it out, air it out. That's it, okay now. Good luck. Thank you, thank you so much for such a wonderful welcome. It's nice to be back among friends. <laughs> How are you, Jack? Adam, I was worried. You're late. Now I understand why. <laughs> nice to see you again, Miss Fontaine. Nice to see you, too. Please. All right. Red, you sit over there, will you please? Waiter. Adam, I believe you met the young ladies. Yes, quite some time ago, I think. Hello. Hello. Maybe he won't recognize us in these clothes. Maybe. Adam. I think you'd like to see this. Adam Worth, penitentiary prince. He's looking at the newspaper now, the advocate, with the pictures of us and the pictures of him being the prince. Eight pages of pictures and captions, each one nastier than the last. 
They even have a picture of those two idiots that burnt the plants. That underhanded, conniving, delicious young lady. We gotta get out of here, Harry. Get some weight out of here, Harry. Get stupid waiters. Um, check, please. Anything wrong, sir? No, no, please give me a check. Mr. Mr. Sir. Sir. I'm gonna give them the wine. Excuse me, Mr. Chatsworth. Compliments of your friend at Tibble Sip. Mm. Open it. Just stop it. They're looking right over here, Harry. Just stop it. I have the slightest idea who they are. Harry Digby and Walter Hill. Red. Found the plans, didn't you, Harry? What? You have the plans. They're plans, Harry. No, 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 no. You look me straight in the eye and tell me you don't have the plans, Harry. Come on, right in the eye, Harry. I don't have the plans. I knew it! I knew it, Harry. Please give him back the plans. It'll be better than ten letters of apology. I promise, Harry. Give him back. Just keep remembering one thing. We're as good as Adam Worth. You're gonna get us killed, Harry. I'm gonna get us rich. You're gonna get us rich? Yes. Let's just watch the show. Come on. any of these people get hurt. Hurt? We're gonna buy him a new press. We'll buy him a, we'll buy him a, 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 a new paper, maybe the New York Times. Whoop, watch yourself, watch yourself. Whoop. Please, could I have your attention, please? In case their reputation has not preceded them, may I introduce you to the most infamous new addition to the ranks of the stellar underworld elite, the Digby Hill Chestnut Ring. Oh, Mr. Worth, if you would be so kind as to tell me just what it is you want with us. Please allow me to show you. Sit on the corner there, darling. This one. Now, everybody find yourself a seat and make yourself comfortable. Now, fill these ones up over here, look. There's some empty ones here. Now, tonight, the plan was to have a lecture Excuse on the me. sub... Mr. Worth, I, uh, think we can still work something out. After all, we still do have the plans. What, what is all this discussion about Shh, plans? Harry, will you please give him... Would you give Mr. Worth back the plans? Trust Just me. give him back the please, plans. Yeah. Trust me. Will you please tell me... We can work it out. Now, Adam, what uh, arrangements would you like to make? Cash now, or we can uh, help you do the job and split 50-50. You pathetic clown. Did you really think for one instant that you could pull a job the magnitude of the Commercial Bank and Trust Company of Lowell, Massachusetts? All right, cash now. Look around you. Look at the men in this room. 
They've engineered robberies. Three years in the making. Everybody here's an engineer. Excuse me, Mr. Worth, but my, my family's waiting dinner. I have little kids at home. Ah, Mr. Finley, come with me. Come along. Now, our after-dinner entertainment this evening was to have been a lecture by Mr. Finley on the inner workings of this. Sit down, boys. A brand new safe. Equipped with the very latest double pressure system. Beautiful. But since we are in the presence of such estimable authorities on the subject of cracksmanship as these, I thought it might be more entertaining, no offense, Mr. No, Finley, if they were to demonstrate to us the various methods of penetrating it. Hmm? <laughs> And just to make it interesting, don't you think it might be amusing to place something of some insignificant value inside? Hmm? Oh, oh, nice. Like, for instance, Mr. Hill. Mr. Worth, Me? this joke has gone far enough. Harry, where are those plans? Oh, Harry. I don't, Harry, I don't come remember. Come on, don't Harry, play. I don't remember. I got Harry, please give him the plans, I Harry. Get in! <laughs> oh, uh, uh... Well, I, I, I don't feel like, uh, and, uh, well, I, I'm a large person. I wouldn't fit in there. Large. You should have a smaller person, like him. Harry, oh, you should get in there. Harry is really Don't tell me about it. He's going to lock me in, in that he safe. He wants you I'm there. not going to get in that Red. safe. Get in the safe, Walter. Oh, no, no, I'm not getting in that safe. Get in! Very well. <laughs> Now, Mr. Digby, one of the most attractive features of the double pressure system. Oh. Harry, will you please give him the plans? Don't worry, I'll, I'll handle it, Walter. Is that it makes the inside of the safe airtight. <gasps> Completely airtight. It's dark in here, now, Harry! Please feel free, Mr. Digby, to use any tools that may be lying around. There are quite a few over there. But. While you work, you might begin thinking about telling me where you put the photograph of my bank plans. Oh my God, Mr. Worth, he'll die in there, don't you see? There's not even 20 minutes of air in there. 16, to be exact, Mr. Findlay. We tried it with a chicken this afternoon. <sighs> but then, of course, Mr. Hill might breathe a little heavier than a chicken, mightn't he? Harry! Where you go, Mr. Digby. Oh. Yes, come along. Oh. Did you tell me that? Did you take it? Well, um, you put it in there and then you just yeah, bang it gonna... hard. And then you... You, you, you can't. I know. I can't. I I do not believe that I am watching this barbaric act of sadistic cruelty. Walter! I don't believe Please Please slowly, only every 30 seconds. Harry, okay. How's it coming along, Mr. Digby? Harry. All right. All right, Mr. Worth. We'll play it your way this time. I'll get you the plans, you win. Mr. Digby. Oh. 
But you're, you're soaking wet, Mr. Digby. Oh, yes, well, it's uh, very uh, muggy, muggy outside. Very strange for this time of the year. Oh, well, uh, plans are you on? Oh, uh, uh, can you, uh, Mr. Finlay? Mr. Finlay? Oh, hurry, hurry. Oh, hurry. Oh! 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 No. Oh! 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 See them to the door. Oh. Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen. I'm not through with you yet. Please, please. Please. Now, get them out of my sight. One moment. One moment, Mr. Worth. One moment. Mr. Worth, when someone comes into my life and deliberately smashes everything that I've worked for, will I feel a definite and an irrevocable responsibility to kick that someone back? Oh. Oh, and I... Oh, and... And... And make no mistake about it, Mr. Worth. Make no mistake about it. Oh, yes, indeed. You fancy yourself an intellectual, a colorful scoundrel. Well, you are not a scoundrel, Mr. Worth. You are a waste. You are a pitiful waste, and I intend to stamp you out with the same compassion that I have witnessed here tonight. And as for you two, pretending to believe in our cause when all the while your only purpose was to use us, I have nothing but contempt. We accepted you as brothers and in return have been humiliated at the feet of vermin. Our dreams have been shattered, but more important, you have broken our hearts. Harry, you're Stop rotten, Harry. I'm going to thrash you, oh, Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop we brought your hands. Hand. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! If you must kill each other, do it later. But for now, I need you. What for? For the Commercial Bank of Lowell, Massachusetts. Adam Worth intends to rob that bank, but we're going to beat him to it. I will not allow that money to be used for loose women, for ruffled skirts, and for the maintenance of a princely way of life that should have been abolished centuries ago. Not while children cry out for milk in the streets below us. If that bank has to be robbed, then by God, let it be robbed in the name of decency. Let that money be taken from the exploiters who put it there and returned to the people who need it. All right. All those in favor of robbing this bank, say aye. 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 Now we are all, every single one of us, and you too, are going to Massachusetts, by God! I don't know how we're going to do this, but we are going to crack the toughest bank in America! What's the matter with you? I'm sorry. The young people today have no respect. I have a heavy bag here. Well, get rid of the heavy bag. What's the matter with you, driver? Can't you wait till I sit down? Now, how long have you worked for me? How many times do I tell you don't start when I'm standing up? If I'm talking to someone, you wait till I sit down. Well, I 
finally see you. Go to Mr. Smith. Oh, well, it's a long walk from the railroad station, Miss Jones, and these samples are heavy. Did you get ever see? Everything. Special knock. Did you get the drills? I got it. Oh, good. good. Oh, you got them all? Yeah. How much did you pay for the drills? Uh, I mean, they're very important when it comes to opening a safe. Opening a safe is not very easy, so I want everyone to pay careful attention. First, I will turn the combination, uh, listening with my ear to the door. And when I hear or feel the Right clicks with my fingertips, Click. then Click. Good. good, good. If not, we go right to the dynamite. Now, um, <clears throat> whose turn is it to dig? Yeah, we have a schedule. Right? Check the, uh, oh. okay. Harry and Lisa are doing the digging. Right. Uh, Walter is removing the dirt. I'm gonna do the laundry. And the rest of us can sleep. Oh, well, uh, I, I will take Lissa's turn. Harry and I will dig, and Lissa, you should get some rest. No, Walter, that's very gallant of you, but actually I feel as though... Gallant. I have to do what my... <laughs> gallant. That's not gallant. I mean, he's afraid of us being alone in that closet. How dare you? That's a lie, Harry. That's not true. Walter, I can read you like a book. You can? When did you learn to read, Harry? Up. Well, he started it. He started it. He started. Give me the tools. It makes me so angry. There's no time for getting angry. He started. I'm so sick of hearing about you two. Mr. Crisp. I do so appreciate your taking time after banking hours to discuss my very real predicament. The prime responsibility of any bank is to service its customers at any hour of the day or night. Oh, what was that? Well, it's uh, probably Walter coming in for the dirt. No, no, that was the door. Okay. Did I hurt you? Mr. Crisp, I insist you treat me with respect. I may be a lonely, bankrupt widow, but I am a lady. That's not Walter's. Please forgive me. Frightful accident. Frightening. Come on. Sit, please. Extend the loan. Mr. Crisp, please. 30 days. Someone, uh, someone from the bank. I know that. Come here. Oh, Mr. Crisp, no. No. No! 45 days. Mr. Crisp, no, oh, my God. Can't you realize the position that I'm in? Are you uncomfortable? Oh, Mr. Crisp, please. 60 days. But that's as far as I go. 
May I, uh, please have a drink of water? Of course. Harry, open the door. Oh, my God. Go away. Wait. Harry, what are you doing? Go away. You've got the wrong office. Harry, don't you disguise your voice, Harry. I know you now. Open the door. Is yes, it your wife? My wife. <laughs> Why did I promise his mother I'd take care of him? Harry, you open this door. I'm going to kick it in and I'm going to choke you. Oh, I own it. Six months. But I get to come to the farm on Sundays. <laughs> I must have the wrong office. Get out! What are they doing in that closet? Waiting. It'll take hours. Oh. Sit down. Go on. Go on. Sit down. Go on. Be, be patient. Eat an apple. Go ahead. Eat an apple. And when you finish that, I got a pear. Oh. I want it. Notarized. In my hand, before we continue this discussion. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, Mrs. Hawthorne. All right. Tomorrow evening, first thing, same time, same place. Yes. Yes. Right now, I don't know whether I'd rather blow his vault or burn down her barn. Yeah. Try to figure this out. Got a real, uh, real problem. Mm -mm. They're coming back tomorrow night, so how are we gonna dig tomorrow night? I'll take care of it, I promise. <sighs> how may I serve you, Miss Forsyth? As a... as a recently bereaved but beloved m uh, mistress of a distinguished gentleman of means, I find myself the benefactress of a large cash gift. I must invest it quickly, otherwise the gentleman's relatives, through legal means, will attempt to take from me what is morally mine. I made the man happy, Mr. Crisp. Happy beyond his wildest expectations. The money is mine. Of course it is. Oh, Mr. Crisp, would you... Could you help me? I... I would be deeply appreciative. Oh. I'm sorry. Dear lady, mm. I would consider it a privilege. Of course, I will have to know the complete details of all your affairs. <gasps> oh. No. Uh, oh. I mean, these <laughs> delicate matters I'm best discussed after banking hours. I understand what you mean. Monsieur. I am at your disposal. Shall we say <clears throat> supper tomorrow night? Oh, no. Why must we wait? I was I was thinking more like perhaps uh, tonight. Oh, please. Please. Tonight? Yes. I shall rearrange a previous appointment. Good. I have I have tickets to this evening's show. We shall go together. Oh, ah. <laughs> Oh, 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 dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, perhaps then a late supper afterwards. Monsieur. Yes. Enchanté, Miss Forsyth. Enchanté. Until say soir, mademoiselle. Goodbye, Mr. Grace. Oh. Remember tactfully, my handsome prince. My daughter, Princess Flavia, has announced she will have none other for her husband but Prince Herbert, whom she has not seen since she was a child. Oh, fear not, sire. We will be gentle. Yes. But persistent. Now remember, if there is no male heir to the throne by the time I die, my kingdom will go to my evil brother, Prince Malcolm. Yeah. Oh, here she comes now. Good luck, sirs. Thank, Thank you, sire. Oh, father, how good of you.
of you to welcome me home from the convent. Remove your veils, my daughter, and let us behold your beauty. Agents of a hundred suns, a thousand moons, a million stars is pale compared to the beauty of a face. Miss Forsyth. Miss Forsyth. Mr. Crisp, what are you doing in there? We'll be closing up in a little while. I think you better be going home soon. I tell you, she went in there 20 minutes ago. Oh. Mrs. Crisp, are you in there? No, no, wait, Miss it's all right. Uh, Miss Fontaine! Time to close up. Uh, uh, yes, I'm almost ready. Um, would you get me a, a carriage, Herman? Yes, ma'am. Tammy! Hey, Tammy! Hurry up! 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 Go back to your hotel room. Yes. Put on your prettiest peignoir. <laughs> Go to sleep. And I'll be there before dawn, I promise. Fontaine! Oh, I got your, your cab ready, Miss Fontaine. Thank you. Yeah. Well, good night. <laughs> you couldn't steal the plants for a bank in Oklahoma, maybe, Harry? That way, even if we didn't get the money, we'd have a chance to strike oil. Look, if we can get out of Concord Prison, we can get out of anywhere in the world. Adam! What? Adam, we're down. I saw him going to the theater across the street with his gang. Gloria Fontaine's at the place. She let them in, I know. She's let wait, them in after wait, a minute. Wait, I thought I'd wait, wait. Go slow, I don't understand. Adam These... Worth, Adam Worth went into the theater across the street with his gang. I think Gloria Fontaine let them in there up to something, and I know it. Well, what is he doing what? in the theater? Right. I don't know. Since I'm sure he already has her autograph, he must be digging the tunnel. Exactly. The theater is across the street, isn't it? Right. We're going in from the top, he's going in from the bottom. should I know? But we got it. We got everything. Everybody, Harry and Walter, everyone. Come on, I, we, let's discuss this one more time. All right? We go through the theater, get into the bank, blow the vault, and get out before the curtain falls. Is that clear? Excuse me, please. Oh, Lewis Hopkins that. Press, we're doing a story on Miss Fontaine. Okay. We're cleared. It's all right. We're clear. Flowers for Miss Fontaine. Flowers, but they have to be more water. They need water. Where can I find Miss Fontaine's dressing room? Well, who are you? I have a legal paper to serve on her. 
Why, uh, is she in trouble? Her dog bit my client when he let her out of the carriage last night. Well, I don't know. You you come back after the show. Did you call the carriage? Yes. Ah, that could make you an accessory. And then, an, an ex you follow me. Mister. Mister. I get a nickel. Right, half, half. That's our deal. That's our deal. Half. You get right. half. You get a nickel. Okay. Perfect. I see. All right. One thin dime. One dime. One thin dime to watch Miss Fontaine's glorious bosom rise and fall as she sings the glorious Kingdom of Love. Ten cents, sir. Ah, oh, here she is. Good, good. Which way? Oh, I don't know. Which way? I mean, wait. Which way? Right here. Which way? in Lowell, Massachusetts. I've been and I read the review in the Boston paper. I got on the first train. I don't like it. Somewhere around, I can feel it. Billy, Billy, Billy. Sort of tidal wave. Earthquake or revolution. The money that sits inside that vault is safe as a babe in his mother's arms. No. Watch your head. of Mr. Adam Worth. Me. 
I'm good at this because I used to fish. Rook to your queen three, Adam. Knight to your queen five. Through the gate. Uh, you get the torch and turn it on when I tell you. All right. to be home. And as terribly lonely as it was in the convent, I am glad I saved myself for you, my prince. I have done almost as much for you, my darling. Today our lives begin. Watch out! Watch out! Oh. Oh. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Terrific. Very good, Harry. Thank you. Oh, hey, Harry, everyone then? <laughs> Oh. Now, I am going to uh, listen with my ear to the uh, door, feeling with my fingertips and my ear the right clicks. And now, you better get the dynamite. And fairy tale come true in our kingdom. I think they're singing the finale. Gloria and Prince, what's his name? Herbert. Herbert. Will the show be over in five minutes? And the word will be here in ten. No. No, not enough time. We lost no time. Back to work. You know? Here we go. Just... Harry, what are you going to do, Harry? Harry? Every month will be spring in their kingdom of love. For the heavens will sing in their kingdom of love. They're crowned with invasion, the star from above. Oh. Every month will be spring. Oh, the heavens will sing in our beauty. You're making a terrible mistake. <laughs> He's not the real Prince Herbert. I am. Ben. Ben. Dynamite. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> oh. You may be wondering what I'm doing here in this kingdom <laughs> of love. Oh. Is this prince annoying you and my dear? Hurry! Tell me all about yourself, what's been happening while I'm gone. I don't think it worked. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we do it. Who can hear my armies coming soon? The castle walls are tumbling. What? What? Every month will be 
like a slave, but see, see. Be careful. Be careful, whatever you do. Hurry, hurry. That's the last of it, Misha. Louis, be careful, all right? Strain it with a handkerchief and pour it into the pitcher. Hurry. I am the real prince, darling. Christ. Oh, no, 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 no. I shall tell you the story of the young child who was taken from his parents' carriage by the gypsies and brought to the forest where he was brought up by owls who... Owls who? And wolves and, and sheep by alley cats. And I have the, the arrangement. And, the arrangement? And, and, what kind of the arrangement? The arrangement is right here, and it will, will unravel this, this tale. Play that for me, piano and player, and we'll straighten out the court. <laughs> I'm, I'm Herbert, he's Philbert. I'm a couple of seconds older. The gypsies thought that he was me, even though I told her. Gently. We have to hurry. That's all I have to say. Maestro, take it away. The ballet music. Number 12, number, number 12. Place still on. All we need is five more minutes. I'm on my way. Yes. <laughs> Red, get to the front door, see what's happening. That Adam Wert is a genius. You see, by reversing the tube, you create a vacuum. Instead of blowing, it draws the liquid. With luck, 
He'll come down with that atom with us, a genius. Keep pouring. Keep pouring. Pour. No, no, that's it. That's it. Here it is. Here it is. We got it. That's it? Yes. Here I am at last, where I belong, in the kingdom of love. Now I'll have a chance to sing my song, in the kingdom of love. We sing, we dance, we're baggy pants and a million in disguises. Yes, I have news I'd care to share with you, O oh slave. Uh, my armies in a few minutes will be victorious. Your armies? You mean my armies, for I am the real Prince Herbert. Uh, that's the first I heard that. Well, you weren't here when I explained everything. Everybody heard what I explained. You're a duke. I'm a duke? A duke, a duke. <laughs> kingdom of love all right boys come true in our kingdom of love joy and bliss will reign supreme and together we will fashion crowns from shine Adamworth, you and your associates are under arrest for the robbery of the Commercial Bank and Trust Company. I know this seems unusual, but as you can plainly see, I'm on my way in, not out. In our beautiful kingdom of love.
Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Here you are, my good man. Here you are. Joint. Would you excuse me one moment, please? Sure, Mary. Sure. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Watch yourself. the money has been used to start what I hope will one day be the largest permanent milk fund in this city. If you care to make a donation, I think you know our address. Calmly, Miss Chestnut. You've already won the war. Shall we discuss the terms of the treaty? Uh, shall I tell you about the party? Yes, she mentioned it. Oh, she is a decadent woman, what do you say? Uh, yeah. Sir, refresh yourself. Refresh yourself. My, my, my. You're a very healthy girl. Walter, skinny. Refresh yourself. Mm -hmm. To us. Partner, to us. Lisa. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Walter, don't worry. I'll be all right. Nothing matters anymore. Stop it. Look, I, I like it too. I'm not crying. Look where we are. This is probably the, the fanciest room in the whole world. Well, I hope it's over, Harry. Look, 
I always promised you we'd, we'd, we'd play a room like this someday. Look, we own this joint. We can do it. Where's the music? What music? Don't give me that. I know you always carry the music with you. Harry, I don't want to pull the music out. I don't want to... Ah. Harry, I don't want to take the music trust out. Me. Trust me, Harry, would you... Please? Harry, trust me. Harry, not... Excuse me, would you stop, Harry, please? Would you please? Oh, it's a... oh hey, Harry, stop. Great. Uh, Harry, uh, can you, you play this? I mean, at dinners, Harry, this is an elegant show. Do it elegant. No, it's okay. Something. It's very Just complicated. Play this like and da, 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 you know, da, da, you can't, we can't da, da, do that here, Harry. Why? This place... Da, well, we don't have our I makeup and we don't have our... You can play that? Well, you pick it up a little bit, a little more tempo. Harry, I don't know whether we won't get I'm Walter, it's wonderful to be here. We guarantee to put a smile on every face we see here. He's Harry, he's Walter. The billing doesn't know a team, a, set, a pair. If I'm the former, I'm the latter. We sing, we dance, wear baggy pants in a million disguises. Light of foot, sleight of hand, full of surprises.